Hey y'all, so today I'm working with Curl Queens again and I am doing a quick weave today. So we are doing a middle part quick weave. This is my client, Jayla, y'all. I do her hair when I say all the time, so it was nothing but good vibes and laughter the whole appointment. But I hit her up and I was like, girl, I have to do a quick weave. And she be down for pretty much any style, so I love doing her hair, y'all. I really, really love doing her hair. So, anyways, I'm going to try to be very consistent with my videos. Um, I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm going to try because I really want to put out more content for you guys. Um, I finally built up my subscribers to where I want it to be, so... I'm going to put out more content. Um, I have a lot of content to put out. And this challenges me to actually record and not just do little clips for TikTok. So I'm excited and we're going to see. We're going to see if I stay consistent. Hopefully I do. But anyway, back to the video. So we're doing a middle part quick weave right here. I'm just pretty much parting out her leave out. So I'm going to braid it down and then I'm going to braid her edges. I left her edges out because I just felt it would give it a more natural look. And it did. So I'm braiding everything down and then I'm going to come back when I'm doing her protective cap. So once I'm done braiding her hair, I'm going to do her cap. So I just braided her hair straight to the back, slump to the side, nothing fancy. I just need the quick weave to be flat. So do the braids kind of like small, medium. Try not to do large braids. So I'm going in with my protective shield and a relaxer brush. 
also with the cap the cap can be black pink green yellow blue it don't matter the hair is gonna be on top of the cap you're gonna have your protective shield on top of it and glue so it's gonna turn black if you ask me so i don't really care what color my cap is if you don't have a black cap it doesn't matter but preferably get a black cap but it doesn't matter but anyways so i'm gonna add my protective shield and i'm going to generously add it all over like you want to make sure you have a good amount so the glue won't bleed through onto your client's hair Okay, y'all, so these are the bundles. These are the same bundles I used in my last video. I'm just using two bundles today. So I'm cutting off the excess cap. She just came from under dryer. She was under dryer for like five minutes. You wanna make sure you thoroughly dry your protective shield. The extra black line that you see is just glue. I always go in with just glue around the perimeter just to make sure the cap stays. So right now I'm just cutting the cap off. Okay, so now I'm going to measure the tracks to my client's head. And you wanna make sure when you measure the tracks that you pretty much have like a stretch on the width because this helps the application of the tracks lay flatter. So you want to give it a good stretch, even when you um, glue it on. You want to make sure it has a good stretch. That way it allows the tracks to lay down really, really flat. Now that all of her tracks have been applied, y'all, I used the full two bundles. And her hair was thick. Like, Curl Queen's bundles are super, super thick, and I love that. So, we decided we were going to straighten the bundles today. So, I'm just blowing out the curls 
and I'm just putting some heat to it just to make it straight a little bit before I start applying the heat from the flat iron on the hair. So I did go in with some heat protecting and I'm going to show you all what brand that I use. But I went in with just a little bit that way it could give the hair a little shine. And y'all, it turned out so freaking cute. The hair was so full. It was extremely full. Okay, now that we have her edges straight, we're gonna work on her middle part. So in order to get my middle part super crispy, I have to put some holding spray on the end of my comb. And then I spray the part with the holding spray, and then I part it again because I am just horrible at parting down the middle. And that should be the easiest part, honestly, but I have a hard time just getting it bone straight. So I noticed when I add holding spray, it kind of helps me and y'all are gonna see like if y'all don't already try that method try that and that is going to make your part extremely crispy Thank you. 
Okay, y'all, so we were pretty much done here, but we wanted to do blunt ends. So I cut the ends and I went in and just did some finishing touches. I added a fishtail braid and I did go in and clean up that braid because y'all know how I had those flyaways. I'm just super neat when it comes to my clients here, y'all. So I had to cut the flyaways away. They had to go. So I'm straightening up her blunt cut in the back for when she turns around. And it came out so bomb. This hair was so full. I'm hot combing that leave out, making sure everything flex. Everything was definitely on flat though. The hair was giving. It was giving this is my real hair. Period. Like it was so so cute. But yes. This is it, y'all. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. Tell me what y'all want to see from me on my channel, y'all. I'm excited. I hope y'all are. Because I have a lot more content coming. But, yes, this is the finished look. It was so bomb. I love this hair. If you order this hair from Curl Queens, use code Tyra for money off. Thanks for watching, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe.